you. All right. Light. This colony I'm calling it JC. If you look good, you will see. I have them right here in my backyard and they are coming in with pollen already. If you look at the bees that are coming in on the back legs have a kind of a, a bright kind of orange color. That is the pollen that they're getting. So they accepted this site as their home now. So they're bringing in pollen to feed the lava. You have to look closely to see the bees are coming in with something bright looking on their back legs. Today is Saturday, June. 24th, it's 24th boy, I think so. 2023. So we'll keep a record of them and see how they're going. Soon enough, I'll have to get in there and um, help them out a little further. Right now, I still have the inner cover here. If I could, if they will permit me to open it up a little bit. Yeah, right here. See them there, watch. Right, so they have a couple of bees on the side there. Um, I don't want to trap them on this side, so let me see if I could move them out, get them to fly away from there. Come out, come out. Well, it doesn't seem as though it's just four of them. So I will close up this part here now to make sure that the inside there, the temperature, they'll be able to build the temperature inside there. I'll have to put something to block this hole. Yeah, man. Let me see if I could get a little closer up. open this uh, I, I took off the piece of foam giving them that much entrance here last night you see it have a look you see the, the, the bright color on the back legs they're coming in there with it which is good and you see the way in which the bees are buzzing in and out so so nice. All right. See the bright. You see the bright color. Yeah, I keep looking. You know, for you to see it. But the untrained eye. Yeah, man. They're going in so so fast, so quickly. It's hard to see. So. We have quite a bit of space here still, so I'll have to come and, and use the, the claw hammer and take out these nails, take out this screen and give them that nice inner cover there. They have to come through this um, wire here, but I don't want to cut the wire just yet. I'm hoping to probably house these bees right here. I'll have to do a lot of cleaning up in this area to ensure that the bees are much more comfortable and that um, I can access them easily. I have quite a bit of debris and thing all here that I'll need to clean out in a timing. You understand? So, all right, that's about it for now. TTFM. Hello to the good honey beard, backyard colony.
Yeah, man. A couple of days ago, I went and take out this colony here from a cupboard, kitchen cupboard. I brought it here and today I'm going to take my time and see if I could ensure that this colony has a, a good start. At first, I had them, the entrance closed and I leave them like that for 24 hours. So throughout the whole of that day, um, they were closed up. During the evening, like around seven, when it got dark, I seen a lot of pollen coming in there. I came and I opened the entrance. And uh, during the morning of that, of the following day, the bees, the first thing they did was orient. And by, excuse, <coughs> by evening time, the bees were coming in with pollen. You see a lot of pollen coming in there. And um, that gave me the indication that the bees have accepted this new spot here as their new home. So I'm going to explain a couple of things in this video. You can see the pollen, nice orange, bright orange and some white pollen coming in as well. They seem to be very busy. So I don't know if um, this colony will be docile or not. I left to be seen. Uh, this colony is called JC. The other one, that I moved to the forest April recently and I got honey from it within the same season. Um, that one is Annie or oh, Anne. I'll verify that later on. Okay, so JC, I'm going to do a couple of things with this colony here today. I'm going to be taking off the, you see, I put a it's a cloth on top here to minimize the, the draft that will probably come in through the space. And I'm going to be taking it off, taking all those nails that I put to hold on the screen, number eight hardware cloth screen. And in there, I have only one frame with partial combs that the bees built. When I was moving them, I was able to take all those combs and put it, stick it on a frame. All the other frames are just empty with wire in it. So what I'm going to be doing today is I want to put in uh, four frames with foundation. Two frames on either side of the comb that they, they have. And possibly I would take all the other frames and I will put in... Depends on what I've seen in there. I'll put in this divider board. This divider board um, depends on how much bees I see inside there. It will determine if I use this board or not. This divider board is going to help to keep the, the temperature in, in the broodness steady. Rather than the limited amount of bees that I have there fighting hard to... Um, to keep that temperature. I know they're building well and they will, they will do well because where they were, it was in a cupboard that was more open. In addition to that, I'm going to be putting on this um, inner cover. You see, I blocked the two holes here with duct tape. Bees don't like duct tape, eh? There's a little sepia dig, how to give you. This is a bee escape inner cover that I'm using. I use the bee escape in a cover for various reasons. One for bee doing um, when I want to extract and I don't want to be bothered with bees, I put the bee escape. And the bees will pass through here and they will get out. And within two days, it have no bees inside the extractable super. All right, so I uh, could use it like that. And also, you see I have a hole here 
and that hole is used to actually give the bees food so you know it acts as different things at different times so and then i'll have the top cover in which i will cover back the colonies with um so that's my plan oh feed in time so what i have here i have it hiding down in the sink here one container is granulated sugar that is solid feed i put some honey at the, the base of it and uh, i'll cap it up with the solid sugar and in this container here i have liquid sugar oh i forget to put honey in here uh yeah anyhow i'll put some honey in here just now um this is the mixture here is the ratio is uh, 70 parts water 60 parts sugar Sem no 70 30 30 parts water no the other way around sorry <laughs> 30 70 which is 70 parts water and 30 parts sugar i get a little confused there anyhow so what i will do now is um i will put this coconut coir coconut husk inside here so that the bees when they go to access it they wouldn't drown All right so you just need to do it like that so i will put some honey in there just now and that will encourage the bees to go in there and, and drink up that and the reason why i'm giving them the, the liquid is because i want them to build the foundation if you don't feed them liquid they wouldn't be able to get the energy enough and in time to get that foundation right now we are in june today is june the 25th 2023 and i'm trying to do this this little video here for you to show you one or two things that i would like to do with this this colony now the other colony that i had put up there and um that one got aggressive you know it started off similar to this one where it nice and quiet i was able to do a lot of things if you look back at some of the videos i can't remember what the, the title is um you would see nobody got sting and um, i was able to capture the queen and put it in the box and all of that this one is very similar so i decided not to carry this this colony um to the forest apri just yet um and the reason is i want to see if these bees will be docile down here if they are if they are docile at my backyard then i know bees learn to get bad aggressive <laughs> all these bees in, in trinidad here are mixed africanized so this is a little experiment i'm doing remember days gone by i had many colonies here and the neighbors in my area purposely kill them out anyhow that's another story um so i'm here with this one colony now and i want to see if um if they will be aggressive or not i will keep them here as long as i can so that's the plan um so let me get going and um i'm in my garden clothes so you would see i just i want to shoot short pants you know and um i'm just going to get in there and hey don't forget eh, the thumbs up the like and share the subscribe ring the bell icon tell a friend and if you haven't done it before this is the time to do it you know subscribe that we're talking about yeah we have some other activities going on in the back there but nevertheless i'm here and i'll be doing this nice little sunday sunday morning video for you it's 30 degrees celsius this morning it's uh approaching 11 a.m and um, i have a lot of cleaning up here to do all of these things that you're seeing here 
it's not waste you know that is my treasure I make um charcoal with this all these coconut I'm making charcoal the brown is is carbon so you know that's part of my compost a whole set of boxes and things here you know don't think that is anything trash see all the coconut and everything there all right so i'm going to be putting this bees here in this area of course i'll move out all these things here give these bees a free reign to get in here bees like nice and cleanly place you know so i'll have to work on that during this coming week i will do that you see in it have the wire mesh here fence wire Right, so the bees are coming in through the fence wire there to access their colony. I was I was thinking about cutting a, a piece out to make the bees get better access and probably putting a screen of some kind around it with that color code so they'll be able to, to find the, the space and come in without having to try to maneuver coming through those uh, wires, the spaces there. But Say what? Many things you could do, eh? Anyhow, so let's move right along. I'm going to come back to you in a second. Let me uh, light up the smoker and so on. Because you need to ask permission. And that is how beekeepers ask permission from the bees to come in by smoking the air a little bit. So, there we go. Morning, morning, morning. How are you doing? Yeah. All right, you're coming to see you're coming to see the action or what? <laughs> I didn't know you're doing anything here. Yes, man, I I'm always busy. Okay, so the smoker is lit, and let's get over there and see what we can do. I think you might need to come closer, but not right now. Alright, you see, this is the inner cover here. Let me just rest down this thing. This is the inner cover. And let's take a look at the inside here. Uh huh, check them out. They're doing what bees do. Alright, so I just want to remove this screen. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. We'll take out frames from this side first because the bees are occupying that other section there. I don't want to disturb them too much. See, they're already um, trying to build here. They probably, um, what's the wood for that boy? Um, can't remember, no? Let's look at the inside here. Okay. We have quite a number of bees. 
accumulated there so it might be a little tricky to do but we'll give it a go get the, the frames to put in one time man hold on hold on okay so we are back So already the bees have decided to put uh, below this comb here. They have a bit of comb here with um, pollen on it. So I would leave it like that. And they have another piece there, which is not really what I want. Eh? But sometimes you just have to go with the flow. Let's see the other frame here, what they have done with it. It looks like I've had to take up the two frames together. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at what these bees did. Look at what these bees did. This is not this is not what I want, man. This is problems. Anyhow. I will have to, I still have to put it back just as it is and I'll put it to the end I'll put in a foundation here these bees, they really want to do a lot of stuff here man This, this frame need to lip on it a little longer on one side all right so I'm putting in one frame here two frames seeing that I want to build so rapidly let me look at this frame here now ah they have stuff on it too Whoa! You see that? They have stuff on it, man. So I'll put this back in here. And I'll give them a semi checker board. Let me see if this frame will fit in here. Mm -hmm. Right, perfect. Wow, we go, Zawi. They are doing extremely well. Even on this frame, they decide to, to do something. You see? don't like the way in which they they are building it so um, I think I'll take this on out as well yes so during that short period of time which is what two days this is what the bees have done Put in another foundation here and hope I could squeeze it in. Going, it's going in 
tight, but good. So that means I'll have to come back and bring four more frames. I'll put back in this frame because it has a little, a little resources on it. And um, I will know what to come with next time. I don't think they will build it out again. Make sure that the space is, is equal. So what I was thinking about the division board is no longer apply. What I'll have to do now is to I'll have to put the feed I'll have to put the feed on top. Right? I wouldn't be able to put the feed on it anymore. So you have the bees there. I'll put the in a cover, wait a minute. They're going a little too fast. The bees need to pass through this hole here to be able to access the feed. Right? So you take out that piece of duct tape and you put in this in a cover slash um, B triangle escape board the opposite way upside it down right so the bees are safe there now they can continue doing this stuff i'll have to come back if not tomorrow the following day to ensure that i'm putting more foundation and right here where the hole is the bees will be able to come through that hole there to come and access the liquid so that liquid will definitely assist them in building out the rest of the frames all right so i could put the sugar anywhere anywhere within that range there all right and now i will cover this with a a super shallow super the entrance is going to stay just like that and the bees have been very cooperative they didn't come at me at all, and um, now I can feel more assured that they are that docile. The test is still on it, eh? because as soon as they start to make brood and develop brood, we don't know what is going to happen yet. Right, so right here from the Good Honey Bee Yard, beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad, I'm Hans T. Yaman, and this is another Good Bees video coming to you. So let me go now and get the the brood shallow super and rest it on top there so you see how that process is okay so the thing is i thought that the for the amount of bees well, there's about thirty thousand bees so i'm putting this on top here now to cover it right and then i'll use I use this cover here to put on top. You can go anyhow, you know, because the bees wouldn't come out there, I don't think. Just in case, sometimes bees will behave funny, yes? Best I'll leave it like that. Alright, so cover it there now. So you have you have the, the bottom board, the brood box the inner cover the shallow super to cover the feed and then another inner cover to protect to cover on top of that yes as i was saying i thought because of the strength of this colony they wouldn't have done so much work but in beekeeping anything anything happened they surprise you all how you see when the bees are swarming they fill their stomach with honey so that they'll be able to build in their new location and 
that is very well um, seen here what they do with that um, honey they was able to build anyhow this wasn't really much of a swarm you know they had already started to build combs but as I was featuring they they had a lot of honey in their stomach still so they come and they put it here in by making combs which is really nice I am totally surprised to see that so I think they will do well here and um, in the next two days or day and a half or next day I will prepare the foundation and put it put it in there that will come with what, four three three sheets of foundation in the frames and um, take it from there so far so good yeah man all right well that's it it's just a matter of time now and now there's only one bee who is sort of like was looking at me just now right okay folks have a good weekend bye for now ttfn